As of March 20th, 2022, there are 49 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is the Imbrin Volcano in Vanuatu, which is a highly scenic volcano characterized by deep calderas, lava channels, and a red hue. It is a relatively rare type of volcano referred to as a pyroclastic shield. Pyroclastic shields are characterized by plenty of eruptions which have an unusually low eruption column that instead of going high into the atmosphere, fall back to the ground in a large area around the erupting vent in a semicircular shape which forms a shield volcano-like edifice with gentle slopes. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Russia, the Bezimiani volcano, which produced a Mount St. Helens-like large eruption in 1955, produced a series of energetic explosions. These explosions produced a high eruption column and were associated with lengthy pyroclastic flows. Meanwhile, on the island of St. Vincent, the alert level at a volcano which explosively erupted in 2021 was finally lowered. And, in Alaska, the alert level at nine volcanoes in the same section of the state were intentionally simultaneously changed. The volcanoes whose alert levels were changed can be found in the Alaskan Peninsula south and southeast of the city of King Salmon. It included the Ukenrek Mars, which formed a series of explosion craters in 1977, Novorupta, which produced the largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century, and Katmai, which formed a large caldera in 1912. All of these volcanoes were formerly at an alert level of green due to a lack of any unusual activity. Then, on March 16th, the alert level was changed from green indicating normal activity to white indicating a lack of available data. In essence, a telecommunications link which allowed for data retrieval from seismometers and other instrumentation was either disrupted or damaged, making new data unavailable for the time being. After reaching out to the Alaskan Volcano Observatory for comment, they said that the issue relates to a broken part. A workaround is being made, but for a complete fix, the spare part in question needs to be shipped to the remote town of King Salmon, where the regional monitoring hub is located. They said that full monitoring of the volcanoes should be back in operation soon, which likely means that a fix will be made in the next several days to weeks. It is important to monitor these regional volcanoes, as eight of the nine volcanoes have erupted in the last 1,000 years, indicating a high level of regional volcanic activity. Since their eruptions almost universally have an explosive component to them, real-time monitoring is needed to advise aircraft to stay clear of the area during increased periods of activity. Ash clouds can severely damage airplane engines even in minuscule concentrations. Regional aircraft pilots could technically avoid the area for the time being, although in my opinion, I do not think that is necessary. In Russia, the Bezimiani volcano is famous for its 1955 eruption, where 0.8 cubic kilometers of its edifice collapsed to the southeast, creating a powerful lateral blast that incinerated much of the area. In the years since, lava dome forming eruptions have been ongoing near continuously within its horseshoe shaped caldera, which is 1300 meters wide. Its latest eruption has been ongoing since May of 2010 and has been defined by occasional paroxysms, where a small partial lava dome collapse occurs, resulting in lengthy pyroclastic flows and a towering plume of ash. One such paroxysm occurred on March 15th, resulting in a 20,000-foot-high plume of ash and a several-kilometer-long pyroclastic flow which was directed to the southeast. The following day, activity intensified, resulting in even more energetic explosions and ash emissions. In the Caribbean, the La Soufre volcano has been at a heightened alert level ever since it began erupting in December of 2020. Its powerful explosive eruption ended on April 22nd of 2021, which dispersed 0.32 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock and ash. Activity has since continuously declined until it reached close to pre-eruptive levels, and thus on March 16th, its alert level was lowered from yellow to green. This lowering of the alert level does not mean that you should visit the volcano's summit, as it is still emitting toxic volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Veruca Salty for supporting this channel.